Okay. Well, coming off a pretty frustrating game on Sunday, just what did you like about the way you all came out and attacked tonight to get a big win? Well, again, I just told the players that, you know, they, they absolutely deserved it. I mean, their, their effort was outstanding. And, you know, even the all the preparation this week was about, you know, knowing that, you know, we had two, you know, big opportunities this week. And, uh, you know, we had a big opportunity, uh, you know, last week and kind of let one slip out of our hands. And, uh, you know, they were determined that they weren't going to allow that to happen this time. You know, Auburn is having a just a phenomenal season. You know, Karen has, has done a, a wonderful job with uh, with the Auburn program. This is, I, I told her before the game, I think this is the best team that, that I've seen them have in, the, in all the years that we've been in the SEC. This is, you know, a really special team for uh, for the Tigers. So, so for us to be able to come out and, and, ha and put a put a, a game like this together against them is uh, really a uh, you know a, it's a terrific it's a terrific score line for our players and it was a, a great effort by our players offensively and defensively. Unfortunate that you know we had to play the last you know what, nine minutes or so uh, down a player and and they took advantage of it like a, a really good team will do. So um, hats off to uh, to our, our girls for the effort. Yeah, you know when when Auburn had their goalie go down, you know. How did that change maybe the dynamics of the game and, and how you guys being able to, to capitalize with a, a goalkeeper that hadn't had much experience this season? Well, I don't think it had an effect on the game at all. I'm, I think that, you know, the goals that we scored, I don't think the goal their their goalkeeper not being in there had a, an effect. I think that, you know, you're, I think it discounts the goalkeeper that they had in there. She made a couple of good saves as well. Now, Maddie Pr Prosca is, a, is an excellent goalkeeper, and we hope that she's okay. Um, you know, she when she came out and and uh, you know ran into uh, to Taylor and Taylor's got a pretty good knot on her head. Um, you know, that's just two aggressive players going going after the ball, and uh, you know that's a tough knock for uh, for both of them to have to go through. But um, you know, the, the the girl who came in and and came in for them had a good game all the way around. It was just you know good goals by our players. What'd you like from maybe the defense from you guys? Uh, they they had been pretty good on offense coming into this game. Well, they'd been outstanding. I mean, they're averaging over three goals a game, lots and lots of, lots and lots of chances. I think you look at uh, at uh, you know Margot Matula and uh, and CC in the middle of our defense had outstanding outstanding games. And this is you know this is our fourth week in a row with with double double games, and it's it's tough. And I. You know, I think it was our strength coach that you know suggested that we don't do uh, a lift this 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 on Tuesday this week to give our players a little bit extra time to recover, and that was a you know a good thing for that because uh, our our players needed that extra oomph to you know to be able to play at at, at this level tonight. And uh, you know, Margot and, and Macy, but also Addie and and May, sorry Addy and Macy on their flanks and. And Margo and CC in the middle, they they needed it, and it was great to have, you know, it's great to have Sid back, you know, and playing, you know, at her level because a lot of those balls that were served in there, a lot of goalkeepers, especially 18-year-old goalkeepers, you know, don't have that poise to be able to make 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 it look so easy. And she she was pretty effortless in her ability to come and win balls in the air. And those are those are tough balls that are served in there, flighted balls. I mean, Anna, Anna Haddock is a is a terrific player, and the kind of balls that she serves in there, by, you know, evidenced by the uh, assist that she had there to get them their goal. So, what were the biggest differences that you noticed between this game and the game against Oklahoma on Sunday? It seemed like you guys were a lot tighter and had a lot more opportunities. Well, I think the effort all the way around by our players was uh, was about three notches up, um, and that again, I, you can't take anything away from Oklahoma and the, the win that they had against us. They took advantage of what we what we what we put out on the plate for them, they, and they ate it up. And and today, I mean, our players just kind of said, you know, we're going to go out and win our duels. We're going to be able to, you know, we we had a lot of respect for for Auburn, and I think the effort that they put in was was all about the respect that we had for Auburn and what they were going to bring to us. So um, that was the big difference was our effort and our execution and the way that we went out and played. the the counter The counterattack that set up. The uh, the ball that Grace Ivy scored was a terrific goal. The uh, the goal that um, you know at the end where we're we're kind of putting putting final touches on the game to, to kind of stall it out, and then they gave us the ability for Sid Becerra to go in and, and score the the fourth goal was also kind of a you know a nice touch. But you know it's it's just a it's just I, I couldn't be prouder of our players with just the effort on it because because Auburn's a terrific side. I mean they're number five in the country for a reason. Going into UT. Obviously, you guys are going into Austin, which is going to be really 
Well, I mean, again, like we said, opportunities in this league, you're always going to play against great teams. And, uh, you know, going into uh, into Texas on, on Sunday is going to be, you know, going into hostile territory. Um, you know, we've, we've uh, you know, we've, Anytime you play against them, it's a derby match. So you can throw out a lot of that stuff as far as what rankings and everything else are because it's uh, there's so many other things that are on the line when you, you have Aggies and Longhorns you know, squaring off no matter what this, the sport is. And so um, I, I know our players are looking forward to it. I'm sure their players are looking forward to it as far as having us come to their place again. Um, you know, I think it's fourth out of the last five times we've played. We've played them in Austin. So, uh, you know, we'll go and do that one more time. And uh, but it's it's an opportunity for us because they they have a you know a ranking on on the side of their on the side of their name and it's an opportunity for us to go out and try to showcase what we can do against a, a very talented team and a team that has had a great season so far I think you know with with all the wins that they've had it's a it's a chance for us to go out and, and show what we can do. And is there anything specific you guys are going to look out for with UT that you need to prepare for? Uh, no, it just I think you you look at their their lineup from from front to back. You know you've got you know uh, Shimkin's a fantastic player. Missima was a great player. You go I mean all the way through the lineup. I could mention the whole lineup, and they're all they're all you know really talented. And I think that they would say the same thing about so many of our players too. And I, I think Ange has done a great job of collecting collecting that that roster. And it's it's a senior laden roster that a roster that they all came back from their success in the Big Twelve. To try their their luck in the uh, in the SEC, and you know, so far they've they've done well with it. So I haven't seen the result tonight, but um, it'll be it'll be a it'll be a fun it'll be a fun game. It'll be a good experience for our players. It'll be a good experience for uh, for fans who get get a chance to come out to see the game at uh, six o'clock at uh, the big track stadium. Thanks and kick Well, you know, it seemed like you guys had a pretty frustrating game on Sunday. Just how good did it feel to be able to come out here and? really take it to a pretty good Auburn team tonight. It felt really good. I feel like we worked on every or all the things we were working on in practice. We did really well in the game. So I think that makes it feel even better that you're actually seeing the progress that we're making. So it was just a really good win overall. You know, something we've talked about with you guys throughout the season is trying to finish some, some goals in the attack. Just, you know, what was really clicking for you guys on the attack tonight and you all being able to, to finish four goals tonight? I think we just decided to play as a team, connect as a team. I mean, I think we know we had so much potential, so it's been frustrating not be able, being able to finish our chances. Um, so we just decided to play simple, play as a team, and I think it worked really well for us. Got any? What does the rivalry with Texas mean to you? Oh, I grew up a Texas fan, so it's a little personal for me, but um, I think it'll be really fun, interesting. We played them before, but it's not the same now because they're in the SEC. Th so it'll be a real exciting game. Well, how do you guys hope that y'all can maybe use this win to, to boost some confidence going into another tough game like that? I think it's really good because we know that all the stuff we've been working on really paid off, and we're just going to keep building on that. So instead of taking a step back, we're going to keep progressing with it and going forward. And I think that just gives a lot of confidence, showing that all the work, hard work we've been putting in is paying off. Oh God. <laughs> well, how did how did it feel to be able to come out tonight and really take it to a pretty good Auburn team? I mean, it felt amazing. I feel like we needed a bit of momentum in our season, and I feel like this really just gave us that boost that we needed. You know, what, what's kind of been the vibe around here the last few days, uh, coming off a, a, a tough game Sunday, knowing that y'all were going to have a, a pretty good challenge today? Yeah, I think knowing that this was going to be a big game for us really just put it into kind of perspective in training. I think that's what really pushed us hard because we knew we needed this win for just our season's sake and momentum's sake. So I think that's what really pushed us in training, and that's what led us here. Um, tonight, I don't know, we could just kind of feel the energy. There was kind of a shift, and I think we were all just so focused and knew that we needed this so bad, and I think we just kind of had that little mentality switch of we need to, we need to score. So <laughs> that's, that was tonight. <laughs> and your momentum seemed very consistent throughout this game. What did you guys go over over half that you think really helped? Um, 
Um, well, I think we had a pretty good first half keeping the ball, and I think that was one of our main points was just keeping it with us and moving it, and I think that really helped us in just possession, um, and that just helped keep momentum, and we were winning battles in the midfield, defense, forward, and I think, yeah, that's how we kept momentum. Well, how do you guys hope you can build off this win, knowing y'all got another big game on Sunday against Texas? Yeah, we have a big game. We just got to stay focused in practice and keep doing what we're doing, and hopefully this carries over into Sunday. To me, well, I'm from out of state, so it's just been really cool kind of seeing this um, this rivalry from an outside perspective kind of, but I'm so excited. It's a big game and anything can happen. So.